these two bones that are right there snap in half. A local woman lucky to be alive tonight. She survived a hit and run thanks to a good Samaritan who came to her rescue. That woman was left for dead on the road until a truck driver stopped to save her. And we want to give you a look of where this happened Friday here on I-270 in the northbound lane just before the St. Charles Rock Road exit. The survivor only shares her story with Russell Kinsall tonight. Not a lot of people can say they walked away from that and I'm eternally grateful. 25-year-old Sarah Jo has been in Mercy Hospital St. Louis since Friday. She has multiple broken bones, but she is recovering. Um, I've been standing up and walking around. I made it 33 feet today. Sarah Jo likes to make people laugh. She's been doing open mic nights at local clubs, but hopes to have a career as a comedian. I've only been doing this for eight months. I'm a baby comedian. Last Thursday, she did her first paid stand-up comedy gig. It was at the Schlafly Tap Room downtown. Sometime afterward, while driving home on I-270, just before the St. Charles Rock Road exit, Sarah Jo ran out of gas. Her house was about a mile away, so she decided to walk. I remember getting out of my car. That's it. The Missouri Highway Patrol says a trucker came upon her and found her lying in the right lane and dragged her to the shoulder. She ended up in the hospital with her right side of her body badly mangled. So I have three broken ribs. These two bones that are right there snapped in half. And then my fibula was broken and then somewhere in my ankle was broken. It's three, broken in three places, kind of. It's a triangle break. Yeah, both my shoulder blades are broken. Sarah Jope has had two surgeries and a third is planned. She hopes the hit and run driver will do the right thing and come forward, but she's not obsessing over it. I don't hold any animosity. There's nothing that I can do. Um, I'm just grateful that I'm here. Family and comedian friends have donated money to a GoFundMe account to help with medical expenses. Someday, Sarah Joe's horrible ordeal just might be a source for new jokes. You know, you find the funny things out of the, the dark aspects of life. It's a, it's a release of the dark aspects of your life in, in a way. She's got a great attitude. I checked with the Highway Patrol. A spokesman told me the investigators don't have any good leads in this case. They're asking if you or someone you know was driving in the area of northbound I-270 right before the St. Charles Rock Road sh exit shortly before 3 a.m. Friday. If you saw anything, something, contact the Highway Patrol. You could help in the investigation. Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4. Hopefully the public.